Hey guys, Amy here with Sublimation and More and Hellbound Designs and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to sublimate these car seat covers that we got. I got one sample in so I'm going to hope that I don't screw it up. This is what it looks like. It velcros closed like that. If I get a ruler. This will give you an idea. of how how big this is okay so approximately 11 and a half inches long um, and almost close to three inches three inches wide okay um, at first glance from this supplier this is a really good thick neoprene I mean, it's very thick. I'm really impressed with the quality. So let's go ahead and get started on pressing and see how it comes out. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do before pressing is you're going to wanna get all the lint off the white part. By using your lint roller. All right, here is the design that I will be pressing. I have created a template and I believe it fits pretty well. Um, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your spray adhesive and you're going to spray some on the paper. Just a light spray will work. Now we're going to want to place this. Um, for this design, I wanted to, the seatbelt cover is actually going to go like this. So I want that circle and I placed it to where it should show up in the center. All right, so now I'm going to place it on there. As you can see, it has rounded edges here on both sides and then there's straight edges here so that's how I created the template as well okay so I'm gonna want to match the straight edges up okay so the next thing we want to do is we're going to put some paper down to protect your bottom platen and then you need some protective paper over it and then we're going to want to press uh, at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. So next we're going to want to press at 400 degrees for 60 seconds and you want a good medium pressure. All right, it's done. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so first time pressing this, I had a little bit of a pressure spot right there. Um, um, so uh, I'd have to work on some more even pressure, but overall I'm pretty impressed with how it came out. Um, also, I probably recommend that you hang the Velcro part off if you can uh, try to get away from actually pressing that as well. Um, I'll go ahead and list these in the group by. You must be a member of our Sublimation of More group by group to be able to participate in this. And I appreciate everybody watching. Don't forget, subscribe to our channel, Sub and More. And if you're not already a member in our group, also join our Sublimation of More Facebook group. Thanks for watching, everyone.